um, my dev workflow using Tmax and Beam. Hello, what's up guys? It's Takuya here. I'm a solo developer of Inkjob, which is built with Electron. It allows you to build cross-platform desktop apps with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I'm also building a mobile version of Inkjob, which is built with uh, React Native. It allows you to build native mobile apps with JavaScript and React. Uh, so how do I call it actually? In this video, I would like to show you uh, how I'm actually coding my app. I'm usually on terminal just like this. I prefer to split the window with many columns and so uh, rows so that I can edit files and run commands on the same screen. And uh, I use Tmax and Beam. I guess it would be uh, one of the typical setups for uh, coding. Well, some people may think uh, why I don't use a uh, sort of IDE. IDE is integrated development environment like VS Code and IntelliJ products, uh, which provides a powerful development experience with FireTree, AutoComplete, uh, between terminal, etc. out of the box. And I actually tried to switch to one of them several times, but I can't still uh, leave the Tmax and Beam setup. And uh, I don't mean I don't like IDs, but that's basically my personal preference. I don't have any big issue which ID would solve, and that makes me uh, lazy to get used to an ID. And I do uh, prefer just staying on terminal. And that's why I stick with Tmux and Vim for years. I'm always happy to switch from my current setup if I found it improves my workflow a lot. Okay, so let's dive into terminal screen and let me show you my workflow. Launch Tmux, split the window, launch Beam, start the task runner, uh, open files on Beam, split the screen, uh, open another tab, switch tabs, launch Ericsson process. Split the current pen horizontally. Switch tabs. Move around between the max pen. Check the git status. Check the working diff. Rename the max window to desktop. Create new window. Open the mobile app project. Split the window. Create another window. Open Gatsby project. It's a documentation website of Inkjob. Launch Beam. Search file with keyword. Wait for the build finished. <coughs> Add some text on the page. Check, check the result. Add some next minute. Check the result. Switch between Tmux windows, rename the window. Create a new window. What happened? Uh, that, I, I guess that's too fast to understand what I did. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain step by step. I'm gonna explain what I actually did in the demonstration. First, I inputted the command tmux to launch tmux. And next I run a command named ide. And boom, you've got the uh, four panes and the window. <laughs> This is just a shell script which contains uh, three Tmax commands to split the window into four panes, as you can see. Uh, 
this.、Uh, so, with this script, you can quickly split the window into your favorite layout.、Uh, to move your focus across the panes, input Ctrl T and J to move bottom, and Ctrl T H to move left, and Ctrl T L to move right, and Ctrl T K to move up. Like this. Yeah. Uh, why I type Ctrl T for each command is that Tmax basically requires a prefix key to do something like moving your focus. So I'll show you my、uh, Tmax config file. And uh, uh, the default、uh, prefix key is Ctrl V, but I prefer、uh, Ctrl T. So I set the option、uh, to change the prefix key to Ctrl、uh, T. And、uh, Uh, here is a、uh, uh, key binding settings. It allows you to move the focus across panes using H, H, J, K, L keys,、uh, like Beam. It's very useful and my favorite、uh, configuration. Okay. The next is to、uh, create window with Ctrl T, C. And、uh, so you've got a new window. The to switch the active window,、uh, type Ctrl T, P to move left window, and、uh, Ctrl T, N to move right window. Let's create,、uh, let's create more windows. Okay, now you've got、uh, five windows, and switch them between the three windows. To react my React Native project, let's put the pane. Like this. Okay,、um, let's take a look at the status line of the window here. As you can see,、uh, it shows each window title here, and you can see they are, they are all displayed as fish. Which is my default shell.、Mm, cool、shell. Yeah. And、uh, <clears throat> it comes in handy if you rename, rename them your workspace.、Uh, so let's change this window title to desktop. And next window,、uh, Ctrl T, comma, to remain, rename window. Let's change it to、uh, mobile.、Yeah. Uh, then you can easily recognize what you are doing in f i t c h window. But switching windows is sometimes annoying if you, you have many windows. Max allows you to swap w i n d o w So I arrange windows like、uh, this. I configured the key bindings like this here、uh, so that I can swap windows with、uh, Shift Ctrl Left and、uh, Shift Ctrl Right.、Yeah. It's very useful. <clears throat> okay, next, I'm gonna explain my Vim workflow. First, open up Vim and open something. And、uh, let's uh, press SV to split the window vertically. And press it again. Now you have three editor panes. Then press SS to split the pane horizontally. And press again, again. And to move your focus across the panes, press SL to move right. And press SH to move left. And, and press SK to move up. And SJ to move down. Then like this. Yeah. And、uh, here is、uh, my key map configuration for splitting window and moving window. And this line、uh, is for splitting window. And I map SS key to、uh, the command 
uh, here and SV command to here. And these four lines are uh, for moving window. SH, SK, SJ, SL for uh, moving window. This. Okay. Now uh, let's open a new tab by pressing TE. And here you got a, a new tab and uh, press SF to open up the file explorer. It is a plugin called Vimfiler uh, made by Shogun. Uh, it's very powerful. Let's open something. Uh, yeah. So uh, you have uh, five tabs now, and to switch the tabs, press Tab key or Shift Tab key like this. And here is the uh, uh, configuration for the Tab Tab key binding. So I uh, the Shift Tab key is mapped to tab prep command and tab key to is mapped to uh, tab next command yeah yeah okay so got it so tmx and vim setup is simple but way powerful for development if you are a beginner programmer uh, it may sound very hard to master using them yeah that's basically hard and it takes quite a long time but don't worry you will get used to them little by little. Remember that I've been programming for more than 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. So keep yourself on coding every day. That makes you do faster and faster. I also keep improving my workflow as it's never be perfect. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one in the future. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.